Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 5, Lesson 28, and tonight we are solving word problems with line plots. However, I have to say that tonight's homework is one of those things where we're really just doing one project, and so I'm not going to be able to do completely any one part of the project. I think what I'm going to do is to try to help you get going if you're struggling with how to do a line plot. And then I'm going to let you complete the rest of the line plot, and then you answer the questions based on that line plot, rather than trying to do something else. Okay? So let's take a look at our problem for tonight. Our problem for tonight reads as follows. A group of children measured the length of their shoes. The measurements are shown in the table. Make a line plot to display the data. So let's take a look at what we've got for the data. We've got, oh, let's see, we've got a, a little table here. We've got students and the length of their shoes in inches. And we've got Colin, eight and a half inches. Dickon, seven and three quarters inches, seven and three fourths. Ben, seven and one half, half inches. Martha, seven and three fourths inches. Lilius, eight inches. Susan, eight and one half inches. Francis, seven and three fourths inches. And Mary, eight and three-fourths inches. So we're going to do a line plot. And if I look at the range of our data here, I want to just take a look at the range of the data because I could start off and do my line plot all the way from zero, but I'm noticing something, which is that none of the numbers here is less than seven. We've got seven and three-fourths, seven and a half, seven and three-fourths, seven and three-fourths. And also none of the data here is greater than nine because the top numbers are eight and a half, and eight, and eight and a half, and eight and three fourths. So when I draw my line plot, I think I'm going to go ahead and draw my line plot like this, and I'm going to do it from let's say seven to eight to nine, because I know that all of my data is going to fit somewhere here on this line between seven and nine. And I'm going to go ahead and do three of the line plots for you, three of these things for you, and then we'll see uh, how you can do with the rest of it. So let's see, first line plot up, I want to do Collins. Collins is at eight and one half. Okay, so here's eight. Now I have to figure out where one half is. So let's see, I need to divide up this hole into halves. So I'm going to do like that. And that's going to tell me that this is eight and one half. Wow, that is super sloppy. Sorry, my stylus isn't doing very well there. Eight and one half. Awesome. And once I've figured out that it's eight and one half, I need to record the fact that I have one person right here, Colin, who's got um, his data at eight and one half. So what I do is I put a little X right above eight and one half. He's the first one. Now, it's important to notice, if I had another person who had an eight and one half measurement, and I do actually down here, Susan, I would put a second X just right above that. That's what, why we call this a line plot, because when we get done, we're going to see, sort of in graphical form, how many people have the same measurements. But that's getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, so I'm going to go ahead and erase Susan's. I'm going to let you do that one later on. Wink, wink. Uh, let's take a look at the next measurement, Dickon. Dickon is 7 and 3 fourths. So let's see, that's going to be between 7 and 8. And let's see, I need to divide that hole up into fourths. So we'll do that. Let's see, that's this like that, and then three-fourths would be seven and one, two, three-fourths. So this is going to be seven and three-fourths. And just like we did before, we're going to put a little X right above that measurement to indicate that this student we've graphed as well. So I'm going to let you go ahead, and for Ben, Martha, Lilius, Susan, Francis, and Mary, I'm going to let go ahead and let you figure out how you would graph uh, the, the line, uh, the line uh, spots on this line plot where you would put those X's. And then you're going to move on to the second part of the homework. And the second part of the homework asks a whole series of questions about uh, that data. And you're going to be able to answer that pretty well if you've already done the line plots correctly. But I can't really get into any of those questions without a complete line plot. And I want you to be a big part of completing that line plot. So I'm going to leave the rest for you. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems.